I'm John Hall, and we're getting down to the brass tacks and hard facts of half bailing. Half bailing the nozzle can have both pros and cons, depending on the type of nozzle we're using and the size of the hose line that we're flowing. In this particular case, we have a fog nozzle with a slide valve design. Oftentimes what we see is firefighters are using core technique, using a pistol grip, using smaller muscle groups in their arm. This often leads to fatigue, which causes them to gate this line down. When Zach gates this line down, we don't have any visual change in our stream, we don't have any audible change in the stream, and we don't have any tactile change in the line. This doesn't allow a backup firefighter or an officer to know the nozzle firefighter's gated down. With this, we've cut our flow from 156 GPM down to 77 GPM. Without any visual, audible, or tactile changes, often this line's left in this position and we're greatly underflowing it. It's important to use proper technique, proper nozzle pressures, and consider nozzle design when specking your attack package. Half bailing the nozzle can also have pros particularly in the case of a larger line such as we have here, a two and a half inch hose line with an inch and 3 sixteenths flowing 300 gallons per minute. As Shea gates this down to half fill, we're still flowing 146 GPM. We can hear a change in our stream, see a visual change in our stream reach, and feel a tackle change in our hose line that lets the backup firefighter or officer know that he's having a difficult time maintaining his position or getting ready to advance forward. As he advances forward, once he's in a decent position, he wants to make sure we reopen the bale so we're back to flowing our full 300 GPM. 